What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrina One, and I have got a special demo for you guys today. This is Resident Evil Code Madman. So this is... What you're going to see here is pretty much what could have been. So before Resident Evil 4, as we know it came out, uh, they a lot of us got to see very, very early footage of what was going to be Resident Evil 4, but they ended up going a completely different direction, which ended up being the Resident Evil 4 that you now know and love. This is what it could have been. So I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to give you a walkthrough on how to complete this and also on how to get the true ending. This is actually really, really, really cool. And uh, I want to give the love to the people that went out and made this organized by Shigu Works. So uh, check them out. Hopefully this is just going to be a demo and there's going to be more forward. It's all up to Capcom, of course. Hopefully they will keep this project alive as uh, what you're about to see here is classic, classic Resident Evil, and since Resident Evil 7 is just about ready to um, be released, this kind of just gets my blood boiling for some of that great old Resident Evil old style gameplay. So we're going to go into here real quick, and I'll show you guys around here the options of what you can do. Um, you can ch change the camera mode, the fixed cameras, camera shake, and all that. I put the RE4 outfit on just to kind of give it a... Uh, a Resident Evil 3.5 vibe to it. As far as settings go, uh, the highest you can get is 1920 by 1080. Um, quality is set on high and frame rate is 60 frames per second. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this, guys. Hopefully you will enjoy. I'm pretty much going to show you exactly where you need to go uh, to get uh, the ending. There's a couple of different endings that you can get in this, but uh, we're going to show you how to do it correctly. So again, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, and of course, it's go time. Resident Evil. Here we go. Just look at this. It is absolutely beautiful, guys. I can't recommend you guys trying this enough. I will have the link to this demo in the description. So go give it some love. Play it. Put it on YouTube. Put it out there so people know about it. We're going to head in here. This is the only door you can get into. We've got a zombie to take care of. Hello. He is a good dodger. <laughs> that took like how many? T-virus. How many did take him out? Better write this in my diary. Even got his voiceover and everything too, which is pretty cool. So what you want to do now? Notice that that mirror is broken. You're gonna come back through here, and head outside. Except you notice that someone has left a note for us. Come back upstairs. Yours truly. This is a page from my diary. Notice that we are in a different type of viewpoint now. And so it's like, it's kind of like a blue world. Kind of like a mirror image. So we're going to go back through here to the same location that we were before because it's the only place that you can enter. Come through here, kind of take a look at the mirror here. Something's a little different. Wasn't it damaged before? That's right. So now when you go through, you're going to be locked in. So all you got to do is go back. And now it's open. We have a new location, and now you're out of the mirror world. So it's pretty cool. I, I like the aspect of this, and hopefully we'll get to see more of it, like more of, of this type of gameplay in the future. So we have uh, an entrance that we can get into. So this is what was holding the doors. He just gave in. I know I should be a voice actor, right? So now we're in the dining hall, and we're going to head to this big door here. So there's specific things that you have to do in order to get the true ending. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So now that we've made it inside here, we're going to head down the stairs. As you can see, this is not the same mansion as you may have seen in the Resident Evil Zero or the original. through here 
love the camera angles. And they're going to immediately go to the left. There's going to be a radio here. Turn the radio off. Turn back around. And you're going to go back into the room we were just in. That's a little weird because the door is here, so don't go any further. Except this time you want to go all the way around to this side. not want to exit in the mirror world or you will t you'll be dead so we're gonna go back through here again except this time we're gonna go to a different location around the corner love the camera angles oh just look at this so creepy and we're gonna pick up the doll been fun kind of trying to learn uh, the controls here uh, with PC. It's, it's recommended that you use a controller. I like to uh, I like to make it more challenging. So this time we're going to go back through here, except we're going to go upstairs. So if you remember where we started out in this area, you need to go back to there. And we're going to pick up the arms of the doll. And you hear that the radio is back on. The missing arm. And I think it almost sounds like it's playing Moon Knight Sinatra. Now here's where it gets confusing. So when you go through here, you're going to hear some things. What is that? Look behind you. It's very, very hard to see. There is something standing there. Let's turn around. But nothing's there. What you want to do is you do not want to shoot it. Think of it as looking at yourself in the mirror, and you'll be shooting yourself. So what you want to do is get close. There you go. You have made it. And now you can finally go back. This is the only way that you'll be able to complete this with the true ending. And now the door is open. So let's find out what that true ending is. A fog. It says here, the caretaker used a hook. I guess we could call him the hook man. And there you go, ladies and gents. That was Resident Evil Code Madman, or Resident Evil 3.5 Code Madman. Give these guys some love. Shigu Works, thank you so much for bringing some classic Resident Evil back to us. Hopefully Capcom will not shut this down. Uh, very, very excited to see more on this in the future, and I will be keeping a close eye out on this as well. Uh, it actually took me quite a while to go through this entire thing. Uh, there's uh, a lot of things to discover, a lot of things to look at, but I wanted to show you guys out there um, a walkthrough of this uh, for those of you that maybe needed a little bit of help how to get the, the true ending. Um, obviously, I'd say maybe a little bit of hit detection can work a little bit because clearly uh, sometimes you can miss even though you're shooting at them in the head. But still, this is so fun, and I hope to God to see some more of this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you liked. Share it out there on Twitter, on Facebook, and all that kind of stuff so other people can get a chance to see uh, this and have a chance to play some classic Resident Evil, um, even though this was not made by Capcom. This was made by Shigu Works. So again, thank you so much. I will have the link in the description to download the demo. And uh, of course, I will see you next time. Peace out.